Hello and welcome to my 2024 San Diego TwitchCon recap video vlog thing. Hello. Okay, so basically every single year that I do these sorts of videos, I tend to forget to film very important things or I get too drunk and I totally forget to do anything. So I have decided to do a little bit of talking in this video. So let me know if you actually enjoy this or if I should just shut up and just let the video speak for themselves. Anyways, I will let you guys watch it. Enjoy and I'll be back to tell you things about my days that I forgot to film. Okay, enjoy! Okay, so we're starting with day zero. It's a chill day, it's normal, I say goodbye to Molly, it's very very sad. I read a little bit of my book. I have included many many books for my trip. See ya! Bye! I actually remembered to upload a bunch of Kindle books to my Kindle. So I had seven books in total, just in case I, you know, for some miraculous reason, wasn't able to sleep on the plane and felt the need to read many, many books. I will say on the plane, I was able to read The Alchemist, which I really, really loved. And then after that, I started The Song of Achilles, which I also was really, really enjoying so far. Just an update, I'm 20% of the way through it and I'm loving it so far. It is so cute. I have put it on pause for a little because I'm reading Marcy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus. But anyways, I digress. Once I arrived to LA, I was really, really confused on how the Uber system worked, but I figured it out eventually. And I was really, really delayed. Like the Ubers were taking ages to get there, but that's okay. I paid a million dollar Uber. I was in the car for over an hour because of LA traffic, which is gonna be a recurring theme here. I was a little frightened of leaving my room. Naturally, I needed food. It was about 5 p.m., 6 p.m. So I take myself to the shops, I get myself some cookies and I lock myself in my room. And I pretty much didn't come out until the next day. And that's my day zero. That's arriving in LA, yeah. Okay, so day one of like being officially in LA, I met up with Gil. Wow. He had to go get a haircut, so I kept myself entertained and I went and explored a Target because I was very intrigued by LA Targets or like American Targets in general. So I naturally beamed it to the book section, found Percy Jackson, found a few other book talk books that definitely piqued my interest. I did cave and get one of them. I absolutely, I was, I saw this all over TikTok. So I was really excited to pick this one up. And the art inside is so pretty. Like it's, oh, it's just giving to me. And it's literally like a story about Hades being like a villain romance love story with like Hunger Game vibes. Like it's just, uh, it's like, obviously gonna be shit but like probably really really enjoyable so i'm very excited to read it like yay haircut <laughs> we saw tita nat we saw sky in So we just had a really nice night out we just had some really casual dinner with some friends and it was a chill night Getting coffee. It's a subtle seat, you know. We are at an in and out. It's bursted. That is a full shake. That's wow. Crazy. This looks amazing. <laughs> yes. I used to hate tomatoes on burgers, but now I actually love them. Tomato. Mm -hmm. Tomato. Guys, Gil says tomato. It's a t yeah, tomato. <laughs> We did in and out Yay! Gil always opens the door for me and I always go to the wrong side. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thanks. So we are leaving Gil's place. We are on our way to pick up Demi and then we're going to the Airbnb, then the partner party. Yay! Your time. 
time. They'll have to find each other. Literally, it's 9 p.m. and the event is closing now. Yeah. So, and we have three minutes, guys. Yeah. We have, we have microphone. Oh, wait, this is the microphone. You got a microphone? Should I do ASMR into it? I always had a microphone, but I never used it. Well, you never it, let me speak. So you never let me speak. That's crazy. Finally, letting the person of color speak for once. <laughs> Damn, that's okay. crazy. Here we are, in the heart of the city, San Diego. Huh? Wait, I, I, gotta, I gotta talk closer. Here we are, heart of the city, San Diego. Don't give it to me, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm yeah, white. true. What are you that's say? so true. Damn. Hey, Shay, one of the good ones. I didn't film the rest of the night because I kind of like wasn't bothered. As you could see, we were heading off to some parties in the city. So we were going to Blurp. I had a VIP ticket and I had bought it with my money. And on top of that, we were going to go to Stream Elements as well afterwards. We get there and I realized that I didn't bring my ID. I didn't have any way to get into these venues. I would get to the front of the line. I basically held up my phone saying like, Oh, like I don't have my ID, but like I have like a version on my phone. Basically in Australia, we don't have physical IDs. Like we basically just rely on our digital versions. So I didn't even think about it. Like I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind. I had it. It was just at the Airbnb and the Airbnb is a 20 minute drive away. So I was like, I'm not going to go back. But it was really sad because every time we'd go to a venue, I would just have to stand outside and be like, my friends. I literally felt so bad because my friends felt bad for me. We ended up finding a place that I was able to get into, but I didn't go to any of the parties, which was so sad. Stupid, dumb blonde, like the bleach is seeping into my brain. I can feel it because how did I not think to bring my license? It was so stupid. We learn from these really like formative moments in our lives, okay? Never doing that again. Lessons with Boa. Never forget your license when you're trying to go to alcoholic venues. Anyways, that concludes my day two of Twitch Contra. Oh my god, it's Milkberry, guys! Hi! Hi. Hi. Hello! Oh my, oh my gosh, hi! Coffee! Wait, what do you have? Oh, it's just the vanilla oat latte. Ooh, awesome. awesome. The cups are cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah! The badges are usually really ugly and like a bright fluorescent, like ugly color. <laughs> That's so pretty! <laughs> they are really pretty like this year. Like the pink and purple as well, and then yeah. like, with the pink lanyard. Twitch God. Good morning, USA. Good morning, America. You got a dog. We're winning.
so I kind of forgot to film literally any of the parties that I went to on day three, but I did go to the Riot party where I was able to see a whole bunch of awesome Valorant creators and obviously also League players, but I was more familiar with the Valorant community. And I saw Jonas and Jen and I saw Tens and Kaide and I also saw Julian and Julian remembered me from last year. That was definitely a highlight for me. Like the fact that Julian remembered me is just insane to me. After that, we went to a karaoke bar with friends everything shut at like 2am but once everything shut down we pretty much just like wandered around found somewhere to sit and just hang out and catch up my philosophy over the weekend was basically to be the last one to go home and the first one to get out like to the con which starts at 10am every day sunday i struggled but we'll get to that soon <laughs> I stayed out until like 8 a.m. on day four. So I basically got home for day five, like the Sunday, the last day of TwitchCon. I got home, had like a 30 minute nap, showered, caught my Uber at like midday because I was like the last person to leave my Airbnb because I was needing to sleep at that point. I was shaking so badly and I was in desperate need of some sort of rest but I was able to catch an Uber. My Uber got stuck in really bad traffic, so it took an hour to get to the con, which made me really, really sad, but it's okay. I organized a little bit of a meetup with my community. I didn't expect a huge amount of people to come, but I was so grateful that so many people actually did show up and say hi, which was really awesome, because I was really scared I was gonna miss people. After I did like a really quick meet up with people, I basically had to leg it. We left the con at like 2.30ish, and we had to go to a creator football game that was organized like by some creator friends of mine. Sorry. Don't look at me, look at the game. sad because I was very aware of the fact that I had every intention of going back to the con. Basically, I stayed for the football game for a little while and then I was like, okay guys, see ya. And I caught a $60 Uber by myself for 30 minutes back to the con so that I could get to the Valorant community meetup. Yeah, that's how much the Valorant community means to me. 60 US dollars. I don't regret anything because by that stage, I was so upset. I'd missed so many people over the weekend. I wasn't able to see a lot of people because we just didn't run in the same paths and we didn't cross, like, bump into each other. So I saw basically everyone I hadn't yet seen, which I was so, so happy about. Hi, we'll be vlogging. What's 
up, YouTube? It's your boy, l 21 Sec, coming to you live from the Twitch meetup with Boa Roo. She flew halfway across the world to meet me specifically. Valorant! Valorant! Hello. Hello! Wow. Like, literally does what he says. Ah. In her aesthetic era. <laughs> what did we order? We got right here. Hey, I'm gonna spread it out. Okay. <laughs> Bam. We got this bagel. You know we had to get everything on it. Everything bagel. You know. <laughs> vegan sausage right here. Look at that. Look at that. That looks delicious. Hey, I don't know if that had vegan butter. They have vegan butter. <laughs> You're damn right they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's yeah. some good eating out here. <laughs> My cross section's a little messy, but it is bacon, egg, and cheese on a garlic and onion bagel. And then the drink is crazy. It is iced Earl Grey tea with <laughs> vanilla and lavender. Okay. And I'm yeah. so happy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. the big, I got the biggest size. I saw it on the menu and I'm like, oh, I need that inside me right now. <laughs> Ready? This is how it's done. Yes. I got this. I got this cheese and egg. Mm -hmm. like, yup. Mm -hmm. Yup. Mm -hmm. I got this. That essentially concludes my TwitchCon trip. I will say I loved catching the train from San Diego to LA. The views were absolutely stunning and I entered like a state of euphoria because I whipped out my Kindle. I was reading Percy Jackson with a friend who also adores Percy Jackson. So I was just giddy the entire train ride. I will go to every single one of these events because they are just such an amazing opportunity to meet people, see people that I haven't seen in a very long time and just create like incredible memories that I can then go back and watch many times on my own YouTube channel. That is the only reason why I make these videos. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much everyone for watching the entirety of this video. This is a lot longer than I expected it to be. I am so sorry. I'm a bit of a yapper. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know because I do not know if this style of content is fun or if you guys prefer more of like the chill, like lo-fi, like boa doesn't speak videos and also if you saw yourself make sure to comment if you have any requests on future videos please let me know i would really appreciate it and make sure to like the video thank you guys i will see you all in the next video 